Hey guys, Danielle here. I am your environmental toxin expert and educator, and I am coming to you to bring you some information about a product that I keep getting questioned about over my Facebook page, on my DMing, on my Instagram, and uh, a few texts. Um, basically, it's about a product called Force of Nature. And is this safe against the coronavirus? Because uh, as I'm filming this, it's uh, we're not quite in complete uh, country lockdown, but we are asking to be, um, you know, self quarantining. And a lot of people were asking, what cleaners can I should I be bringing in my home? Uh, should I be bringing in Lysol and Clorox? You tell me not to bring those things in my home, and and that's not exactly true. I do want to address that. I teach people how to make better choices about the products they're bringing in their home to lessen the toxin load and burden on their body. These are extraordinary times. If you feel the need that you need to bring Lysol or Clorox in your home, that's up to you. Uh, I always say there's a place for everything, all those products out in the world. Is Lysol and Clorox something that I should be using daily in my home? my opinion, no, because of the dangers of the product. This is an extraordinary time. So my opinion is that I don't have, I'm giving you permission if that's what you feel comfortable battling this virus. If the CDC has approved it, go for it. Um, I will tell you there are lists out there. Uh, many holistic healers out there have uh, holistic doctors, nurses, healers out there have put out lists of things that they recommend um, on the, that's actually on the CDC list that are a little less harsh or abrasive than some of the disinfectants that are out there in the world. All right, so getting back to your question about force of nature. Um, I have done a little bit of research. Force of nature, if, again, if you... Here it is, I brought it up on my computer screen here. By the way, I'm in my laundry room, which is AKA the off of my mixing room. This is where all the magic happens when I'm making all my natural products or my products from scratch. Um, but this is the Force of Nature page. Basically, uh, right here they have, um, they have like uh, electro, you know, this, this uh, device that you put it on that electrifies their capsules, which their capsules are made out of salt and vinegar and um, salt and vinegar and something else, um, tap water. Anyway, so what does this particular device do? Well, what it does is it creates hypochlorous acid and we actually, our white blood cells make hypochlorous acid. It is used in our immunity, it is, it is produced for our immunity system in our bodies. So. In my opinion, this is a better product out there that you can be using. Why can't you go buy it in the grocery store? Well, that's simple. It doesn't have a shelf stability. So once it's mixed, it's got about 24 to 48 hours to be used. After that, it just turns to plain old water, if you will. So it's not going to have those um, that ability to fight off the bacteria or the viruses. Um, so all the ickies on your on your hard surfaces. So it's not shelf stable. That's why you have to make it in batches. Um, it has been approved by the CDC for human coronavirus. However, everything that has been approved up to this point for human coronavirus, including your Lysol and your, and your Clorox wipes, all those products were approved for the coronavirus that they knew not necessarily the coronavirus as we know it today. All right. So I just want to put that out there because there's a lot of conspiracy theories going around that say, um, oh my God, we know about this all our, all our lives. This is why it's no big deal. All right. Whether it's a big deal or not to you, it's not a conspiracy when it comes to what's on the cans. Okay. Yes, we've known about coronavirus. Yes, it's been approved by the CDC. Has it been approved for this one? Not necessarily, okay? We don't know. So that's where I'm gonna leave that. Um, also, just so you know, all of these products that were approved by the CDC are approved for hard surfaces. So that doesn't mean that you spray your pet with it or your soft fabric with it or anything else. 
it has been specifically approved or is specific to be used on hard surfaces. Okay. So, um, basically the downfall I see with force of nature is you are forced to buy their capsules to make the solution. You can actually go and find another company out there. It's called Echo Lock Tech. Echo Lock Tech actually makes the big industrial versions of these machines that will make this hydrochlorous acid. It is used in clinical settings. It is used in the restaurant business. It is actually used to clean food. Okay. So this Echo Tech Lock also has a home version available on their website. I'm guessing that either one of these companies probably has a lag time on their shipping. So you're just not going to be able to get it tomorrow. Um, the good, the, the uglier part of this product, I, I do want to address kind of the uglier part of this product. Just like your Lysol, just like your Clorox wipes, it says it right on their packaging. In fact, I have a couple here. Yeah, I have it right here. Um, where it says, you know, kills 99% of germs. I have it here somewhere. Viruses and bacteria. Okay. Just keep in mind when you're using these products that you are killing everything, the good bacteria and the bad bacteria. We need that good bacteria. We have over sterilized our world with all of these anti all of these antibacterial products, um, using these, these, harsh abrasive cleaners we've made a sterile bubble and with that sterile bubble we have created some issues in the human body and we've also created these highly um uh, antibacterial or uh, antibiotic resistant strains so we've done a little bit of damage when it comes to this over sterilization of our world do not get me wrong. This is extraordinary times. Again, I started that with, I started this, this video with that. In extraordinary times, you have to make decisions that are right for you and your home. With that said, this hypochlorous acid does the exact same thing. It's killing all bacteria, all the viruses, 99 or if it's, I don't know what their rate is, but it is killing it all. So we are killing the good with the bad. The good helps us with the bad and we want to do, it's a delicate balance. So is this a product, this hypochlorous acid? If I was in the restaurant business or I was in a clinical setting or I was in, um, again, I want to make sure that my food is very clean, then great. This is, this is a good product. Okay. But with that said, <laughs> would I use it every day? in my own home? No, because again, I recognize the value of having good bacteria in my home. And we actually carry viruses all the time. We are a virus magnet, okay? So don't fool yourself in thinking that you don't have anything because you, you are carrying it all the time. I just listened to this great teacher on bio biology uh, this morning, like four hours of it. And it was, it was actually quite fascinating about the viruses that they're finding in these snow caps. And anyway, so, um, is this, is these products that create hypochlorous acid good in the proper setting? Yes. Should you go out and rush and buy one? Well, that's up to you. Because again, what I've said is I wouldn't be using it daily. So do you want to spend the hundred or the $200? I don't know what it, the price range is. Do you want to spend that much money just to get through this part of, um, this issue? This is extraordinary time that we're in. That's a decision you have to make. So again, I would probably use this, uh, this product maybe every three to six months in my house, depending on the season, depending on if someone was sick. But for the most part, I'm just going to stick to the plain old soap and water or whatever I can mix out of my cabinet. Alrighty. Thanks guys for joining me. I hope I kept this short and sweet. Let me know if you have any questions, any concerns. I'm always here. Again, I'm Danielle. I am an environmental toxin expert and educator where I work on the practical side of your toxins, which is in your home where it counts the most.